What is up, everybody? Storm Regional Staffer here, Rick McCormick, talking today about the new RST X2. It's got the E Tracks Pro Reactive Cover Stock wrapped around that RST core. Uh, it does come in a box of 15 grit polish, and this ball has beautiful shelf appeal for the pro shops. Uh, this is a pearl version of the RST X1, uh, so this will give you a different look in that HP4 line from Rotor Grip. Um, and first impressions, this is just on our traditional house shot here in Northwest Lanes. Um, I did have to play a little bit straighter um, just because of how clean it was. Right there, I missed it into the oil and a light 7-pin. Uh, this one, I hit it a little extra hard and threw it just a tad slow and it went sideways. Um, but what I really like about this, it will give you a different look in the HP4 line, like I said. Um, the RSTX one is super, uh, for me, it's super early and super smooth. And then that UFO alert that we just added to, it's that same smooth shape, at least for me, just shiny. Um, this will give you that more pop down lane. Um, so if you need a stronger ball that you can play multiple angles with um, and get the ball to go through the fronts but still have that big core in it, um, the RSTX2 is that ball. And I will be comparing it to the original RSTX1. Um, the only difference is the mass is a little bit further away from my thumb. Um, but as you can see, when it comes to ball motion wise, you can see how early it is and how smooth it is off the spot. Um, so it's the opposite reaction. Rather than the RSTX1 is super smooth, the RSTX2, if you need something that's really big um, for when the lanes are hooking, uh, but you need to go through the fronts, RSTX2 is that ball. I will be throwing the RSTX2 on the 39 foot chameleon pattern. Um, this ball, with it being shiny, it was allowing me to create some hold. Um, so I did have to stand a little bit further left just because it's a sport pattern. Um, so they're blended a little bit more and it, and the pattern is naturally three feet shorter. Um, but this ball was allowing me to play some, uh, create some hold with it being so shiny. Um, but with that big core in it, it really didn't miss the mid lane a whole lot. So it gave me that really good read if I wanted something really clean, um, but still a big core. So it's a great addition in that HP4 line for when the lanes tend to hook a little bit. Uh, special shout out to Dave Cruder and Collier Pavey over at Dave's World of Bowling for the best hookup. Special thanks to Coolwick, Vice, Storm, and BowlerX. Head over to coolwick.com, stormbowling.com, and bowlerx.com for all your.